As Donovan Harbinson lay in a North Carolina hospital earlier this year, doctors told him time was running out. What the 35-year-old teacher and father thought was pneumonia was actually severe heart failure. And now, his every heartbeat was becoming more faint. His lungs filling with fluid. I think it was like heart failure. It was scary. It was like, oh, heart failure means death. Doctors told him his only hope for survival was a heart transplant. He really needed all this support. And over the course of just a few weeks, had to be uh, transitioned onto pumps that were not enough support for him. There are nearly 4,000 patients on the heart transplant list right now, with far fewer organs available. People can wait months, sometimes years, for an available heart. While waiting for a heart, doctors can offer temporary devices to manage heart failure. But they can be large and cumbersome, and don't always work well for everyone. As a last resort, doctors at Duke Health turn to an experimental device, a titanium artificial heart powered by magnets and made by Bivacor that would actually replace his heart. Daniel Timms invented the device. And can you show me how does it fit? Where, where would it go? The natural heart will be removed, and then the device will be attached through these connections mm -hmm. to the remnant parts of the heart uh, in th inside here. And then these um, graphs are then stitched to the remaining vessels, both the aorta and the pulmonary artery. That's incredible. A team of Duke surgeons, including Dr. Carmelo Milano, spent four hours implanting the device. In an instant, the device was able to recreate normal circulation, normal amounts of blood flow, uh, normal pressures. That was very exciting. Uh, oh, great job. This is the first moment Harbinson was able to stand up with his titanium heart. It was definitely heavier because you don't normally feel your heart. Donovan was just the second person on the planet to receive one. I knew mentally my heart was gone. And I'm like, okay, I am going to be Tony Stark, you know? <laughs> I'm about to, you know, come out with a, a, a shiny piece in my chest that, you know, is keeping me alive. Power. Yeah, so <laughs> that was kind of like the running joke. <laughs> Good luck to you. For Donovan, within days of getting the device, he was able to get healthy enough for a transplant. And now with his new heart, he'll get to watch his children grow, including his fourth baby on the way. Would you say that this device saved your life? Yes, um, without a doubt. And Dr. Akshay Sile joins us now with more. It's such a fascinating and heartwarming story at the same time, and no pun intended on that last bit. But this is kind of crazy, right? There is, I believe I was reading, one kind of titanium-like device that's been approved by the FDA. But this is the first ever that this has really been used. Is it going to have FDA approval? Is it something that could be available to anyone waiting for a transplant and in dire need, but they don't have that heart just yet? Well, listen, that's, that's the goal. And so this is an early feasibility study, which means that they're sort of in clinical uh, trials to study this in, in rare cases. And you see here with, with Donovan's surgery being such a success, you know, since that operation, Ellison, there has been another one in Phoenix, Arizona at Banner University. I actually just got off the phone with the inventor, Daniel Timms, who's telling me that tomorrow, tomorrow morning, there's actually another one planned for Cincinnati. So they are full steam ahead with this thing, Ellison. And, you know, one thing I'll just add uh, so for some more information here is that, you know, they're sort of hoping that this, the use of this extends beyond just a bridge to a transplant. There is some hope out there that, you know, this could be a permanent solution to people out there. There are nearly 4,000 people waiting for a new heart, uh, Ellison. Hmm. That is amazing uh, to see and hear. Thank you for bringing us that story, Dr. Akshay Sayal. Uh, hopefully we'll get more updates on it from you soon. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.